we always celebrated Hop Janae, which would mean um, going about the houses with your turn-up lanterns and singing the song, the Peel song, which was Hop Janae, put in the pot, Hop Janae has gone and we thought, Hop Janae, I met an old woman, Hop Janae, she was making bono, Hop Janae asked for a bit, Hop Janae, she gave me a bit as big as my big toe, Hop Janae, she dipped it in milk, Hop Janae, she wrapped it in silver, Hop Janae, Tra-la-la, won't you give us a penny before we run away by the eyes of the moon? Um, you would have to sing that, there was a particular way of singing that. What we didn't really appreciate as children was that it was Celtic New Year. We just thought it was Hop Janae, but we didn't yes. understand um, the Celtic significance of it, which I think children are learning more about now. The actual um, celebration of Hop Janae would be around our own neighbours. Uh, we would go to the houses close by and sing our Manx version of Hop Janae and usually I think we got money. I don't think we got sweets in those days. I think it was money. Yes, it and was money. The idea being that you would do very well on the money and you could buy your fireworks with them. I think that the, the witch is to frighten away the evil spirits and she has her cat which is sometimes placed on the broomstick. I think it was things like witches and cats and moons, moons particularly I remember, the sky, the night sky. There's been um, the basis of frightening the evil spirits away and then perhaps people like my friend here who are quite crafty starting to... Would you mind rephrasing that? <laughs> <laughs> starting to design uh, things that come into their head, you know, it doesn't have to be um, static. It can be a bit fluid, I think. People put new things on them all the time, but there are these fundamental um, elements of it if you're doing a traditional one. The thing is, they'd have a proper candle in them, you know, and that was the, the smell of, of a turnip burning, of that burning um, turnip. That, that's the thing that, that you've always had with you. And you long for, you know. Where well, you would hold them this way up, and there's great rivalry as to what is the correct way to do it, because we wouldn't do that. We wouldn't hold our turn up that way. Our moot, we would do this, but have a string on it and carry it like a lantern. So this would be spooky in some respects, in that it's got um, a ghost and a witch and her cat, but also quite artistic and have a sun and a moon. Um, a little cottage with smoke coming out. So, oh, and there's a spider on this as well. So there'd be a mixture of what was supposed to frighten away the bad spirits and a bit of artistry as well. It was part of me, you know, it was part of our upbringing that this was what you did. And it was fun, wasn't it? You know, if, if it wasn't fun, you wouldn't do anything. If it's not fun, you don't do it. We have a, um, a celebration of Hop Janae that children come and sing and dance in the hope that they will then, when they get a little bit older and a bit more confident and able to go out on their own, they can then go around the houses as we did. It's really focused for the smaller children who um, are just learning these skills and then as they, as I say, get a bit older, they can go out and about themselves. <laughs> Thank you.